Welcome back to our channel. Today we will review the MSI Wi-Fi 7 PCIe card. Now before we begin unboxing this package, we will take a look at the spec sheet. From the back of the box, we can actually see the spec sheet. So this particular device is basically based on the Qualcomm NCM865 chipset and it supports the Wi-Fi 7 802.11 BE standard and supports Bluetooth 5.4. It operates on the frequency of 2.4 gig, 5 gig, and 6 gig, and supports up to a maximum of 320 megahertz bandwidth. The device is compatible with Windows 11 and supports a transmission of up to 5.8 gigabits per second. And of course, it supports the multi-link operation or MLO. Now let's take a look at the package. So basically what we have is the is basically the instruction manual. The USB cable. This should be the antenna. There's a CD ROM. I wonder who will still use CD room these days. Maybe it's for the drivers, which you can actually download from the website. And lastly, the most important thing is the PCIe card. And this is the tiny PCIe Wi-Fi 7 card. So it has two antenna ports at the back. This is how it looks like from the back and from the front. Okay. So basically what we are going to do is that we are going to fix it up onto our PC. So this is the card, the PCIe card. And then this is the antenna. You can just remove it this way. And this is the base, I suppose. So we can fix it and it should fit very well. So it should look something like that. Right. Okay, what I'm going to do right now is to install the PCIe card which I have got it ready with the antennas attached. Okay, so we find the PCIe one slot on the motherboard. And that's it. We've installed the card onto the motherboard. After installing the PCIe card, you'll notice that on the Windows 11, there will be a device called Network Controller, which it does not recognize because there are no drivers installed. So what you need to do is that you need to go over to the MSI website and search for this particular model of the Wi-Fi 7 card and you download the drivers. And the installation is done. And you should see a Qualcomm Fast Connect 7800 Wi-Fi 7 high band simultaneous HBS network adapter over here. And let's take a look at the options available. So under the general, which actually gives you the description. And under advanced, you can actually change the bandwidth. The checksum payload, network address, the preferred band and so on and so forth. So the driver version is uh, 3.0.0. Sorry, it's 3.001078. It's quite recent. And then the power management and the resources page. And basically, we have already connected 
basically we have finished installing the PCIe card and installed the drivers. In this test, we will test the Wi-Fi 7 adapter performance against the Wi-Fi 6 and also the LAN speed. I have taken two readings each, one for the CTC SCI server and Unify 5G server. Let's focus on the CTC SCI server. With LAN speed, you can actually achieve around 2.029 gigabits per second. But when we use the Wi-Fi 7 adapter, we are able to reach around 1.617 and using our onboard Wi-Fi 6, we can only get around 1.131 gigabits per second. In this test, we move the PC 5 meters away from the wireless router. Using the Wi-Fi 7 adapter and test against the CTC SCI server, we are able to get around 776 megabits per second. Using the Wi-Fi 6 adapter on board, we are only able to get around 647 megabits per second. We notice that the further you go away from the Wi-Fi 7 router, the difference between the Wi-Fi 7 and Wi-Fi 6 diminishes. From the test results, we can actually see that Wi-Fi 7 adapter actually improved the network access speed. Although you can argue that Wi-Fi 6 also can deliver pretty good speed. But Wi-Fi 7 actually uses the 320 MHz channels and 4K QAM to improve the data transmission efficiency and overall network performance. So if you have a lot of dead zones at home, Wi-Fi 7 can provide a better coverage and range compared to Wi-Fi 6. This concludes our short review of the MSI Wi-Fi 7 adapter. I've left the pricing information in the description box below. I hope you like this particular YouTube video. Remember to subscribe to our channel, comment and like our video. See you in the next one.